Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here coming to you from the Hobby Shed and in this video I will be sharing with you three new things that I recently bought off eBay. So stay tuned. Alright everybody, Sponge Murphy here. How is all getting on today? So I've been on eBay again. It's been a while and um, but I got three brand I got three really good deals. Well I think they were good deals. Um I haven't I, I recently I don't go on eBay a whole lot anymore simply because simply because of this I don't want to spend any more money on eBay. But when I see a good deal I have to pick it up. The first one is I I, I don't know why I bought it. Um but for some reason I still end up having Stormcast Eternal models in my house in this uh or this buy was eight stormcast eternals sequitors sequitors the front is one of the new starter sets anyway um i i don't know why i bought these i i seen them they were new they were the new freshness the new hot thing to get and i managed to pick them up for 14 euro all, all these prices include delivery um and I think I'm pretty sure all of them. Everything I get off eBay comes from England to Ireland, so you have to take the shipping into the into the, the process. And they're they are they're nice models. I really like them. I'm going to get. I'm definitely going to get around to painting these someday. Um, pretty soon, I'd imagine. I like them that much. And I'm not a big fan of Stormcast. I have two starter sets from two of the very first starter sets from Age of Sigmar. So that means I've like doubled a lot of Stormcast. I have one or two of the kind of like special character models that came with like the magazine a few months ago. And now I have eight sequitors, whatever they're called. Uh, but for 14 euro, they're awesome. I really like them. I'm gonna, definitely going to get around to painting them sooner than later. So keep an eye out for that. Secondly, one of the things, oh, I've been trying to get this for so long. Remember the end times? The sad times. Oh, rest in peace. Everyone in the old world. But one of the good things we got from the end times was the end times books we got. The first one was the Nagash book. Um, I'm not sure in order, but we got Ken, Archeon, uh, Ken, Archeon, Nagash, and the one I got, and I can't remember the fifth one. The Glockin. And then I think it was the fourth book. The best book. It, it is the best book. It's the most important book. It's the Scaven one. The Tankwell End Times book. I finally got my hands on it. Um, but it's two books. You get like the Fluff book, which is the bigger book, and then the Rules book, which is like an extension of the new characters that come out during that time and any of the other new rules for the End Times. The whole End Times, if you put all the End Times books together, it's it's almost like a new edition of Warhammer. It's almost like the ninth edition that should have. But I wasn't even looking for it. It came up and it was 24 euro including delivery. I had to get it. It's The book is amazing. It's quality is fantastic. This, I haven't read through it all. But what's in it that I've read so far is awesome. You have the battle narratives. And then you have like the army lists. Uh, fluff wise listed out. And then if you go to the rules book. You have like narratives for objectives and stuff like that to match that battle. I really want to get the rest of the end times books. They're really they're so expensive. You're talking like like at least that I got this one for 24 euro. I've seen I think the Glockkin one going for 24 euro, but the rest of them are almost double that price. So someday I'll get all of them. Maybe I don't know. But f the most important one. <laughs> was the scaven one i don't care what anyone says that is the tankle book it's amazing and um, if you ever see it going on ebay cheap definitely try and pick it up even if it's just a fluff book the fluff book itself is well worth that money and um, everything in it is awesome the artwork is the artwork the games workshop put out i've always overlooked it to me it's like some of the most underrated artwork in a fantasy setting it's and then in this book i'd imagine the rest of the artwork in the other end times books are just as fantastic and finally, finally the last thing I got off eBay was, god damn this thing was the same price as 8 models. I got Spinetail for the Skaven. This is an old, um, it's not out of print actually, I don't know, I'm pretty sure you can still get this guy. He's a named character but he, do, he wasn't like a named character in um, any of the army books. 
Um, but the, the only reason I picked up this guy was because he was... The new project I'm starting now is like a, a Skaven pirate ship. It's Clan Scurvy. It's a real clan. I'm not making up the name. Clan Scurvy. Um, and this guy, he just looks like a pirate Skaven. He does. He has the big sword, the way he stands and everything. He was 14 euro. It was a bit pricey, but it's one of these guys I've been wanting to get for like the last two years. I've never got him. I'm like, oh, no, I want to pay that much money for him. And I think the were originally wanting a little bit more. I got this guy off Troll Trader, which is an, an, an incredible eBay seller. And I got it down to like 14 euro, including delivery. It was one of those ones where you can make an offer. And this guy's going to be getting painted pretty soon. As soon as I get the Clan Scurvy boat. Uh, all converted up and ready to go. I can start adding characters into that. So all together, let me add it up. I had 14 euro for the sequiturs, 14 euro for uh, spine tail. That's 28. Yeah, 24, 32, 42 euro for an end times book, eight sequiturs, and one scaven spine tail model. I don't think that's too bad. Um, Maybe a spine tail guy, 14 euro. I never thought about how much he was. Like, that's the same price as eight brand new models that I got. But, uh, yeah, I've been wanting the guy for a while. So, I think I got three good deals. What do you guys think? Make sure to let me know in the comment section. If you haven't liked this video, make sure to hit the like button already. And once again, subscribe if you haven't. I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you like this one and check it out. Or, hopefully you guys like this video. Check out the next one and I'll see you guys next time.